If you need help figuring out the wavelength of a wave using a graph, the first thing that you want to remember is that a wavelength is a measure of distance. So on your x-axis, if there is a unit of distance measurements there, then you know you're looking at wavelength. So then the next thing you need to do is you need to find a point on the wave and pick it. So let's say the point you choose is the peak right here. So if you choose this peak, your wavelength is going to end where the next wave starts. That means you have to go all the way to the point that's just like that. So all the way down and all the way back up to the peak again. At that point, you have traveled an entire wavelength from peak to peak. To finish calculating wavelength, you're going to go, okay, so this point falls at two meters and this point falls at 10 meters. So the wavelength is the difference between two and 10. So 10 minus two is equal to eight. That means that the wavelength is equal to eight our units meters. One of the most common mistakes that I see students make is that they will start at the midline and then stop the next time it reaches the midline, but that is not an entire wave. If you start at the midline, you want to go all the way up, down, all the way back down, and then starting right where it's about to rise again. Whatever part of the wave you pick for your wavelength, you have to make sure that you stop at that exact same point on the next wave.